Where do I even begin? This fucking One Piece chapter. Big fucking man. It's also after Caesar Clown, which is on board the Thousand Sunny, where half the Straw Hats are. So, which means her fucking fully. And if she's on there, a fucking Yonko, she means they're. It means half of the Straw Hat crew is is fucked. Oh my god! Like I, I will, I'll get to the whole big man thing later, but I'll first more so discuss what happens in the chapter itself. The chapter picks up right where the last one leaves off, right? At, and Don Flamingo's more so done chewing low law to a pulp, and and Don Flamingo's more so apologize for making such a mess and the fact that. That he didn't like the fact that Law, a fellow Shishibukai, was spreading rumors around him, which is what he's claiming to what have happened. Happened, so he that's what he more so did at least this. But as far as we know, that's far different. They got into more so about because Law was going to set a trap for Don Flamingo. And and then the fact that we see Soro and Kimo. Try to go after Don Flamingo. Then, right out of nowhere, Fuji fucking Toro arrives and blocks Soro's attack. And, like, I. Fuck! Wow, just Soro fighting Fuji Toro. Now, granted. Soro, he's fucked. Fucked. It's like there's no way he could take on Admiral. There's no way. And the fact that Fujitoro even creates a black hole in the ground. Ground. And it looks like Soro, I, I ain't quite too sure what happens here. It's like, then Don't Flamingo more so attacks Kimo. Then we see where Soro ends up at. And and he more so go and, and it looks like Fujitoro is going to attack him again. Then the fact that some of the Marines call him an admiral and so it's like so this old blind gambler is really a marine ar admiral. Then Luffy says an admiral. Then everyone like on the Thousand Sunny and the and Straw has to there with the dwarves are like a marine admir admiral. And Robin says, if Don Flamingo has allies with the Marines, then the numbers of enemies they're up against have significantly increased. And then the fact that more so Don Flamingo is now holding law, and him and Fujitoro head off to talk about more so something that he, Don Flamingo has more so proposed, which I'm quite curious to know what this proposal is. Maybe it's the fact that perhaps that. Don Flamingo will will help with the help take out the Straw Hats since they are more so a major threat to the Marines considering how they see him as a major threat at least considering how Luffy is like Dragon's son and all the shit Luffy's done in the past. Perhaps that and perhaps Don Flamingo will help them take it out but Marines have to give Don Flamingo something in return which I'm quite curious to see what that is. And then the fact that Soro and Kimo head back to the Coliseum and tell Luffy they have he has to get out of there instantly. And as soon as you think things can't get any worse, as soon as everything appears fine and they just can't get any worse, we see where the Thousand Sunny is and we see a ginormous ass pirate ship. And as it turns out, Big Mams arrived. The last. No, the, the last thing they need right now is a fucking Yonko on them. And as it turns out, even though Luffy declared war on Big Mam's ass, that isn't the reason why they're there. Turns out, Caesar Clown has some beef with them. And they're more so after Clown. And it's looking like from the way they, when we first see Big Mam's crew, one of them says, Mama, we can confirm Caesar Clown's on the festival. 
So which fucking means Big Man's on that fucking ship. And they're more so firing at them. But, Nami more so realizes under these circumstances they can't go back anymore. But, and they have to more so go after Smile Factory on Sue. So which means they're going to go and now destroy the factory. Having to leave Dress Rosa and go to Sue. So yeah, now it's official. Half the Straw Hats are pretty much not on Dress Rosa any. Well, I guess you could say they weren't on Dress Rosa at, the t at right now, but they're more so as official. They're leaving Dress Rosa as looking like they won't return. They aren't going to return. I have a feeling the fact that this is going to be like the. I'm forgetting the name of the arc, but the arc where Sarji became part of the creature. Where when remember when Nami stole the Going Mary. And how Luffy had to leave by other means like a small boat with Sanji and same thing for when Zoro and those two other guys were chasing and Usopp were chasing were going after Nami. I have a feeling it's gonna be like that. All the straw hats are going to eventually end up in the same place, but they could leave by di different means. At least like half the crews on the Thousand Sunny and the other crew leave somewhere else. But the other question is how the fuck do they leave Dress Rosa? They have a Marine Admiral, a bunch of other Marines, a Feist Admiral, CP Zero, Big Man, and Don Flamingo, and the Don Quixote family. That, that alone is like five fucking different obstacles right there. And I am just like... This is literally the definition of oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We are so fucking screwed. They can't get... The Strats can't get out there by themselves, so maybe the alliances Luffy and the others have been making with people like with Luffy, like with Rebecca and Chinjao and Sanji with Violet and the and the and like Frankie, Robin and Usopp with the dwarves. Maybe that could be a factor as to when they leave Dra how they leave Dress Rosa. Maybe the fleet Chinjao gave Luffy could be a way out, or perhaps the Jinbei could appear out of nowhere, assist them and yeah, because he is going to Big Man. Or perhaps Kid in his alliance, which I believe this is the most likely one. Kid in the alliance he's made with two of the other supernovas will show up into a system because they are also going after Big Man. Man, just like Luffy is. That could be a factor. And shit, Thanes. Thanes are really really starting just this is a fucking crazy chapter and as for like Fujitoro what's going to happen with him and Don Flamingo I believe some form of deal will be made the fact that Don Flamingo will assist in going after the Straw Hats I believe and or because the Marines are after him and I guess Don Flamingo will get something from them I'm not sure what it is and the thing with I do believe though when Fujitoro won't be on Dress Rosa much longer like if someone's gonna fight him I'm, I can see Fujitoro's like, you know what, I'm getting bored, hand back to Marine Headquarters. I could totally see him doing that. Because there's no way, no way, like, I don't think Sorrel or any of the others, Sorrel, Luffy, or Sanji, or any of the other Straw Hats are on Admiral level. No way. I just don't see hell. I don't even think, I don't think Don Flamingo's on Admiral level, but yet... He, and he beat Sanji, and he almost beat Sanji, Sanji to a pulp. He's the reason why Sanji's wearing all those bandages at the moment, I believe. So yeah, there's that. Things just... Whew, wow. And how Luffy could beat Don Flamingo... Perhaps this isn't the arc where Don Flamingo is dealt with, or maybe, just maybe... Or perhaps this, I don't think the whole thing I had theory I had before to where this be like the thriller bark arc to where all the straw hats have to work together to beat the villain since half of them are no longer there. Perhaps Don Flamingo has some Luffy weakness that Luffy can exploit the living hell of, just like he did with NL on where lightning in those lightning power devil fruit wouldn't work on Luffy due to the fact that he's made out of rubber and how crocodile couldn't regenerate sand when Luffy attacked him with like blood or water. It could be like some means like that. But overall, this One Piece chapter was fucking insane. But also amazing. 
What are your guys' thoughts on this chapter? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you somewhere in the middle? If you like this video, leave it a like. And if you dislike it, leave it a dislike. If you want to see more content like this, sub to me. And yeah, anyways, I'm Anime Game Nerd. And Jesus Christ, this fucking chapter. Signing out. Peace.